Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. Today's $20 Tuesday. $20 Tuesdays is a special time on my channel where I showcase super cute, yet super affordable wigs for the lovely $20 price range and below. So let's just jump right in. Hey y'all, happy December 1st. Woo woo. Can y'all believe we made it to December though? I feel like it was just March when we found out that there was a global pandemic. Yikes. But now we're here and I really want us to close out this year strong. And part of that is me introducing Is That Your Hair Holiday. I did this holiday series last year and a lot of you liked it. So I'm bringing it back again. And during this time period, I do collaborate with some of my wig bays on the YT and we showcase some affordable finds for you so that you can slay your life away for the holiday season. Now during this Bachelor Hair Holiday this year, I won't just focus on wigs. I'm also going to be doing a clothing haul. I'm also doing a gift guide. And I'm also doing a little chit chat about some personal things that I've noticed, just experienced in 2020, that I think will be interesting to all of you. So we're, we're mixing it up a little bit in December. On top of that, it's my birthday month. My birthday is December 22nd. I'm really hyped about that. So I think this is gonna be a great month. So today I'm kicking off this that your hair holiday with one of my new wig bays, Shelly Fonte. Let me tell y'all, Shelly, <laughs> that girl. <laughs> Uh, I think I found her maybe around the time quarantine started, maybe around March or April. I'm not sure, but I know she had like a few hundred subscribers at the time. And I was like, yo, who is this girl? She is a hot mess, <laughs> but in a good way. First of all, she's beautiful and every wig that she puts on looks good to me. That's just my opinion. On top of that, one thing I think that stands out about Shelly is her humor. Her sense of humor is second to none. I think she's very witty. And I think that's something I don't see often when it comes to hair and beauty. A lot of beautiful people on this platform, but not a lot of witty people. So when this video is over, I'm gonna need y'all to head right on over to Shelly's premiere, show my girl some love. She's almost at 2,000 subscribers, so y'all may as well go ahead and tap her subscribe button. Go hop on her train because she brings a lot of affordable finds and she's just so lovable. So Shelly, thank you so much for joining me for Is That Your Hair Holiday. Let's get into it. All right, so the first wig I have here is Outre Katana. I have Katana here in the 1B color. And this is just a, a typical Outre lace front wig. It comes with the HD transparent lace, which I'm not a fan of on this unit. I feel like it's just a nuisance, but that's neither here nor there. She does come with your typical cap construction, your two combs in the front, comb in the back adjustable straps. She does have about a four inch parting over here in the middle and she does come with baby hairs. Diving right into the pros of this unit, now that I have her on, I think this style is very cute. I like the loose waves and I think the density and length is perfect. So on me, it definitely falls on my 5'3 frame, around my breast area. So I would say like a good 18 inches, almost 20 inches. This is her to the side, her to the back. I mean, looking at myself, I'm like, okay, she's cute. Really, the style of this unit is the main pro to me. However, I do have a few cons. The fibers on this unit are definitely like giving me $20 hair. <laughs> they feel rough. They don't really feel that soft. And because of that, I'm definitely getting tangling like straight out the pack. I'm getting a good amount of shedding as well. And another thing I noticed is the cap size is definitely tight, which I don't necessarily mind because in this case, I feel like it makes the lace in the middle lay really flat. But if you do have a larger head, I don't think you're gonna be feeling this one. When I lift up my he ear here, it's not coming ear to ear. And I don't know if that's due to the small cap size or maybe it's just not made to be that way. But of course, the biggest pro to this unit is the price. This retails for about $23 on wig tights, which I think is definitely super affordable. And y'all know that's what $20 Tuesday is all about. So for the price, I don't think it's bad. Is it my favorite? No, this actually reminds me of Bobby Boss Enid and I reviewed that wig like well over a month ago. Similar style, but I definitely liked Enid more. I think the cap construction was better in that it was a bit more of a flexible cap and I just liked the way it was constructed better. So overall, Katana's giving me a nice 
simple glam kind of holiday slay. I'm definitely not mad at her for the price. However, what I'm more excited about is my second unit that I have here, Altre Kimura. I've been seeing her all over the YT and I see good things. So I'm going to take Katana off and toss Kimura on and tell you all my thoughts. All right, y'all, so I am back with Miss Kimura here. I have her in the ginger brown color. And as you can see with this color, there is no dark root, so it is ginger brown all throughout, which I'm here for. Sometimes I, I want a little no root action. So I was happy to see that Kimura is giving me that. She has the same cap construction as Katana with the two combs in the front, a comb in the back with adjustable straps. She does come with pre-plucked. She comes with a pre-plucked hairline. It's like slightly pre-plucked and she does have baby hairs. So let's just dive right into my thoughts, starting with the pros. Main pros to this unit absolutely is the color and the texture. Altre, I'll say it over and over again, they are the OGs right now when it comes to color on synthetic units. I feel like they get it right every single time. They have mastered the art of blending the color in units, so it's not just a 27 color, it's not just a 30 color. They like to blend colors in, which I really, really like because there was a point where that was not happening. <laughs> I might have seen it on like a Zuri Sis unit, but other than that, I feel like companies just weren't doing it. They were sticking to very basic colors. So, so I really love that Outre when they came out with the Nisha Soft and Natural series, they started spouting out all these exotic colors that we hadn't heard of before in the wig community, and I'm all the way here for that. This ginger brown is absolutely gorgeous. This is actually the same color that I have for Outre Kamaya, except that comes with a dark root. Beautiful unit, and my God, when is Outre Kamaya being restocked? <laughs> I heard she's coming back at the beginning of December, but your girl can't wait any longer. Gosh. So to me, I feel like Altre was trying to give Kamaya on a budget with this unit due to the style. Now, as far as the cons, the main cons this unit for me, and I hate to say it, is the style. Something about this style mm -mm, is not sitting right with me. <laughs> Y'all don't know how long I was off camera trying to, I guess, make this work to my favor. I had her in the middle at first, was not feeling her in the middle. And I'm a middle part kind of girl. I was like, let me shift it to the side. I was like, okay, I'm getting some bang action, right? And then I started using some of my bedhead spray to try to like keep the bang up, you know, and freeze it in place. So this top area is cool. I really like this, but then it just falls flat at the ends. You see what I mean? This side has a little bit more hair than this side, but it just gets very, very thin towards the end. And it just honestly makes me want to cut all of this off. <laughs> like the way these ends are, I don't know. I'm just not really feeling that. Like I really wish that they continued the curl all throughout this unit. And that's something I've seen before on Janet Collection June. However, I didn't make it a big deal on June because June was very full throughout the unit. But the fact that it's like fuller up top here and thinner on the bottom is, is really bothering me. I thought I was gonna love this unit and I'm not in love with her. In love with the color, in love with the texture, but the style is, is giving me, uh, I don't know. I think they were trying to give Kamaya on a budget, but this is reminding me of like Kamaya's little cousin. I used to get in trouble all the time in high school and got sent away. And I know some of y'all may not agree with me. I'll probably be like, oh, this looks really pretty on you. Y'all, I've become very picky about my synthetic wigs. The things that I liked or tolerated in 2018, 2019, 2015, yeah, girl. Some, some of my tastes has changed. So this type of like thinness at the bottom, I just, and I like a light density unit, don't get me wrong, but just, I would prefer if it's even throughout the unit. So this is cute. And for the price, honestly, I'm not gonna complain too much because I saw this unit for $18 on wig types. $18, and that was during Black Friday. Right now, it might be back up to $20, $21, but still, I mean, it's still a steal. When I look here, okay, she's looking kind of cute. It's just, she's just not my favorite. I think she can give you that holiday look you're looking for on a very, very 
supreme budget and i'm definitely here for that because that's what 20 dollar tuesday is all about let me know what y'all think how do you feel about miss kimura have you watched other reviews on her i've definitely seen her in the 1b color i know miss chrissy had her in the 1b as well we really like the way she looked on her um but i'm just not really feeling her on me i think she's just okay i think the color is what's saving her right now like absolutely the color Okay. But yes, y'all, let me know what you feel about these two units, Katana and Kimura, in the comments down below. You know I'm here to hook y'all up for $20 Tuesday. These units are both well under $25, so I think it would still make a nice holiday slay during this holiday season. Let me know which one is your favorite. And make sure y'all go check out my girl, Shelly Fonte, because I'm sure that she's about to deliver with whatever she's bringing to the YT today. So make sure you go check out her premiere as soon as this video is over. And if you are new here, coming from mm -hmm. Shelly's channel, Welcome! Make sure you tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Remember, we are on our way to 20,000 subscribers! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so excited for what I have in store for my 20k celebration. So, just come, just, just come on in. Come join the family. Drop me some love down below. Talk to me in the comments because I love when y'all talk to me. And if you want to see some of my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for joining me for day one of Is That Your Hair Holiday. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.